In this snip, I'll show you how to create a distributed file system link, also known as a DFS link, in the Windows Server environment. If after launching the DFS Management Console, you have no namespaces displayed to you, like we currently do here, we can add available namespaces by right-clicking on Namespaces, choosing Add Namespaces to Display. This pop-up will show us all the currently available namespaces in the domain Tech.io. I'm going to choose all the available namespaces and then click OK. I know that the new DFS link that I want to create is going to go into the app root namespace. To create this DFS link, I'm going to right click on app root, choose new folder, and then in the name box, I'm going to give the name that will be displayed to all the users. In this case, I'm going to call this one text snips. Now we'll need to add folder targets. To do this, we'll just click Add, and then provide a UNC path to our target folder. Then click OK. We have the ability to add multiple folder targets. If we need to add additional folder targets, for example, we had a replicated file share, we could do so by clicking Add, and then providing the link to that replicated file share folder, and then click OK. Whenever a DFS link is created with multiple file targets, we'll be prompted to create a replication group. In this case, since replication groups are outside the scope of this SNP, I'm going to choose No. If we expand the app root namespace, we can see that our text SNPs DFS link has been created. If we'd like to make sure that the primary site always gets chosen first instead of our replicated site, we can do that by clicking on our primary path target in the center pane, choosing Properties, then choosing the Advanced tab at the top, checking the Override Referral Ordering box, and then ensuring that the first among all targets is selected. We would do this to make sure that our users always had the same experience and didn't accidentally get our replicated file share. To test that our new DFS link works, We'll just need to launch File Explorer and then type in the path to our DFS link. We can see that our DFS link worked because we ended up in the right folder. If at some point we're required to decommission a DFS link, we can do so in multiple ways. The first of which would be to right click on the DFS link in the left pane and then choose Delete. The next way we could do it is to right click on the DFS link in the center pane and choose delete. Another way would be to choose the delete icon in the actions pane or the right pane. When using the action pane, make sure you choose the icon under the view you want to delete. The bottom one is actually for the TechSnips DFS link, whereas the top one is for the app root namespace. Choosing the top one will delete the entire app root namespace. And this is how we create a distributed system file link in the Windows Server environment.